Boom, what up YouTube? Good morning. December 31st, we're out here at Otter Creek at the fishing tournament. In memory for a gentleman. It is a gorgeous turnout. There's a lot of water on the lake, but ice is still six inches. We got Scotty. We got the sun coming up. Oh, beautiful. And then you know, I catch a first fish, and here we go. Here's this gorgeous little, <laughs> gorgeous little succulent fish. Get, get over here. There. And then Alan comes over, or Curtis comes over here, catches a, a nice, nice one. Little, nice little 10-incher. Ten, ten yeah. Not too bad. Good job, Curtis. We're fishing... We're fishing anywhere from five feet of water to eight feet of water. Yeah, that's too small. Okay. Scott's had a bite, swing and a miss. We'll bring you back. All right, guys, my five foot of water jaw jacker just caught a fish. Here you go. I can't even pick them up. All right, there you go. He's long. He's skinny, but he's long. It's our good first keeper fish, so we'll throw him in this live well. I'll bring you over here with me. Yeah, we got this live well over here. I'm gonna show you. See that? That's where he'll sit. Kind of cool little gift for Christmas. So. All right, that's one keeper down. 11 more to go. Bye. <laughs> he did. He's smaller than my first one. <laughs> this is entertaining. <laughs> All right, everyone's landed a fish. We got some sun trying to come up. I've landed two. Scott's landed one. Curtis has landed one. Fishing's good. Life's good. All right, guys, it is almost 10 o'clock. I have landed my third fish, and he is a dink. I think he's bigger than my first one, though. So, pop him off, just a little planter bow. Put him down the hole, and away we go. Not hearing a lot of commotion on the ice. A couple people cheering here and there, but it's been a pretty slow morning weather is it's getting nice so glad we got that to look forward to any day on the ice is better than a day in the office right all right guys fish number four i think they're getting smaller curtis is marking them but this is all we're getting all the big ones are either getting caught or they're smart enough not to be biting during these tournaments. He's so tiny. Cute, cute sized fish. Cam, that's it, we'll bring you back. All right guys, minnow number four, fish number five for me. Same thing, same white and orange tungsten with a white maniac body. And the power bait ghost has blessed us. Okay. That's it, just that itty bitty little thing. Curtis just lost a good one. But I can keep catching these minnows all day long and be happy. Uh, okay, bye.
Oh, that's the hole I'll go to next. Don't worry. All right, guys. I'm just I'm just hole jumping at this point, just catching fish in everybody's hole. And I just caught this out of Scott's hole. Scott had a really big hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's the second keeper of the trip i'll be keeping this one for sure he's good healthy nothing prize winning or nothing but good healthy fish so oh dude perfect eating okay oh two good fish fishing's picking up folks so oh he's oh he's mad he's mad okay All right, folks, a couple minutes later. Same hole of Scott's. Got that little rainbow. He is eater size. And we got a limit of four, so I'm gonna keep him. I'll put him in the live well. If we catch a bigger or better one, then we'll release him. But dang it, guys, I lost track of how many fish I caught. Is that a bad problem to have? Eight. I think you're about seven or eight. I think seven. Four minnows and these three. Okay. So let's go seven. Alright guys, Curtis has finally landed one of the fish that have been terrorizing him and stealing his bait. Ooh, nice paddle bug hook. Oh, that'll be an easy get out. There you go. Oh, yeah, not real big, but I got two for the day. Oh, that's two more than probably Alan or Josh are going to catch. Yeah. It's almost, it's 11.10 right now. People are starting to pack up. The tournament ends at noon. So we'll only be out here for about another 20 minutes. Yeah, throw that night crawler on there. Oh, what was that, Scotty? Scott's over here doing something. Let's see if we can get one on camera. You got five seconds. Oh, I don't know. But I had a bite. And we're done. <laughs> but we can get this. All right, everyone. Scott and I are headed home. We ended up having a wasn't the best of fishing but according to the judges at the prizes they said it was a pretty slow day which they appreciated because they'd have to count or weigh as many fish scott ended up with one alan ended up with two and i ended up with seven three keepers when i weighed my big one in at the time of weigh-in i was fourth biggest fish overall but first place in my age category. The weight was two pounds, 0.68. So 2.68. I don't know how many ounces 0.68 is, but. So that got me all excited. I was like, oh, yippee. And then by the time they announced actual winners, I wasn't even in the running for either. So not a lot of two to three pound fish turned in. I got three fish to go home to in the freezer, so it was a good turnout. The winner was a four pound. Yep, first place was a 4.44. Um, for the auction, or not auction, but the gift giveaway, I ended up getting a little browning knife. Scott got a little multi-tool. Multi-tool. Josh Hunt got a 12 pack of Diet Coke and some tungsten jigs. I'm not sure what Alan and Curtis got because we ended up leaving before they their names were called. Overall, it was a fantastic turnout for the uh, gentleman that passed away, Phil. Overall, it was a great tournament and we appreciate you guys for following us along and being there with us. So, thanks again. Catch you on the next one. Bye.